inside there are six huge pressing tools that are cutting and shaping panels at a phenomenal rate. So raw steel goes in that end and then fully formed car body panels come out of that end. It's all powered by hydraulics and it can exert an unimaginable 8,000 tonnes of pressure. So that's like having all the metal in the Eiffel Tower land on your head. It's so powerful that this shop had to be built on its own separate foundations. Otherwise, buildings on the other side of the factory complex would shake when it was working. And they don't just have one or two of these presses. There are 20 of them in this shop, like this. In total, the press shop makes half a million car parts a day. But of course, they can't just make half a million bonnets. They also need to make all the other parts. Oh, this is so manly! This is about as much as I've ever been. That means changing the huge pressing tools six times a day. And the man in charge of doing that is veteran car maker Klaus Wehrmann, who has over 30 years' experience across almost every department in this huge factory. How much does that weigh? It's nearly 25 to 30 tons here. You don't want that on your foot? No, 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 no. that's not good. So this is the pin that holds the top of the press at the bottom. But if you look round here, there's just a little collar. And if you just lift that up and get it in the right place, it goes through. <laughs> to be fair, I can't really mess this up. Then it's done. Gotcha. <laughs> When you produce enough cars every year to create a tailback from New York to Las Vegas, they have to be shifted off-site as quickly as they're made. Hence, 60 kilometers of track and the largest private rail station in Europe. But big infrastructure comes with its own problems. In the old days, freight leaving a factory might be loaded onto a train like this. A complete trainload of empty wagons would be shunted into place at dispatch. It's then loaded using ramps in between the wagons, means the first cars can drive the full length of the train and it can all be filled in one go. But bear in mind, when it's 20 wagons long before they can hook it all up and depart, it takes time. So quicker is important, and the answer to that is over here. It's a sliding stage, three wagons wide, and how it works is wonderfully simple. It moves sideways. Empty wagons can be shunted into empty bays. Cars can be loaded onto waiting wagons, and fully loaded wagons can be hooked up to waiting trains, all at the same time. It's fast and it's flexible, because each car only has to travel at most the length of one wagon. It is really, really clever. 10 train loads carrying 1,800 cars leave the factory every day. I wonder if I can help. Gentlemen. Yes. Hello. Hello. Sorry I'm late. Welcome. Oh, we expected this. You're a British guy, huh? Apologies. <laughs> Chaps, this is very exciting. So we're here to collect a train. Where is it? Let's go. OK. There is our locomotive. You can see it. Right. We can bring the locomotive here to us, if you like. It's with a remote control. Oh, bring it to us? Yeah. With that? Yeah. That's a remote control train. Yeah. Oh, my word, I'm standing on a train set. And better still, Christoph and Bernd are giving me control of it. Right, what do I do? Fahrtrichtung is eingestellt. Yeah. Signal. And then nach vorne. How do you stop? Stop here. Right. So I do that. Yes. Oh, oh. Great. And then forwards. Yeah. It's moving. Oh, no, I'm scared. Where's it coming? Be careful. When do I start backing off? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. It's my first time driving a train. Yeah, doing it good. Oh. Right, it's coming. One stop. Runs on a bit. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> oh, oh, watch out. out. Just drove a train. 67 tons of locomotive controlled by me in this with this. Now to collect the cars. And who needs a driver's cab when you've got a remote control? No, we are going to full car train. Aren't we going to crash into it? No, it's no not a problem. problem. Safety driver. Still going quite fast. I am bracing. Bit of slowing. 
Oh, we stopped. So, Richard, we're not going downstairs. Can I stay here? Yeah. It'd be like being on the Titanic. Wait, is that going to hit my head? Oh, God. <laughs> ben, you got the hang of that. So, Richard, now we are ready and we can bring the cars all over the world. But not all cars leave by rail. Some customers want to take delivery directly from the factory. To make that possible, an on-site collection center was built, which presented yet another big engineering challenge. The problem is, the factory is over there. The collection center is over there. It's a distance of only a few hundred meters. But here's the thing, you're coming here to collect your brand new car. You want it to be exactly that, unused. They needed to find a clever way of getting the cars from there to there without adding anything extra to the odometer. And this is what they came up with. That is the very end of the factory. These are coming straight off the production line. If they were bread rolls, they'd still be warm from the oven. And the thing is, there might be 63,000 people here making 800,000 cars a year, but to its new owner, each car is, it's a big deal. They need a bit of ceremony. They want to hand it to them on a the plate, literally. It'll be delivered to its new customer without its wheels turning. The automated conveyor whisks the cars away from the end of the factory, ready for the customer in just seven minutes. It's a brilliant system. But wait until you see the car park. There are two gigantic towers, each with 20 floors, and between them they can hold 800 cars. But they need to be able to cope with up to 500 customers arriving a day to collect their new cars. So they've got to be able to get them in and out quickly. The whole system is controlled by computer, not surprisingly, and it can load a car from the ground level anywhere else in the tower in just 40 seconds, making it the fastest automated parking system anywhere in the world. From here, the cars are carried to the customers to commence their journeys beyond the factory gates. And every detail in this enormous factory has been perfected so that they can do that as quickly and efficiently as possible, just as they have done before, 46 million times and counting.